Now, I never thought I would say this, but my clients have started skipping the range just by using this three minute routine. So I thought I'd have to share it with you. Now, because this channel is powered by you, the viewers, I'm answering this question from Sean Tracy here saying, hi Alex, I struggle with time, bet we can all relate to this. I love to practice more. My garden is small, but I have a wall to hit against. Is there anything I can do with foam balls? Well, with this, you don't even need a golf ball. All you need is one of your irons and follow this routine. And as you know, this channel is powered by you, the viewers. I'm planning all the videos to next week at the minute, so just pop your question or comment down below. And as long as you're subscribed and you've turned on the bell, I could pick your comment out and it could feature here on the channel. Now, there are four main aspects that we're gonna look at in today's lesson, and that's gonna work in three minutes. It's gonna work on club face control, sequencing of arms and body, staying relaxed, and actually generating more club bed speed than you ever could dream of. Let's get into it. We're gonna start off by working on points number one, club face control, arms and body sync, point number two, and point number four, just being relaxed. Number three, speed brings it all together at the end, and we will cover that. So the starting point, we need to just get that club in our belly button to start with, just there like that, and grip the golf club on the steel where your arms are nice and relaxed, just as if you had the club down here, okay? Your arms in the same position, but now on the steel. This is the starting point, right? From here, this is why you don't need much space at all. Just work the club back. Also, you need to hit loads of balls. You can skip that practice. Look at that. Start by moving the arms and body as a sequence. So you can really see I'm keeping control of my club face. My arms and body are working together. I'm getting everything I need in a 100% perfect takeaway. Point number one. From here, I need you then to set the golf club. So we've roughly got the shaft running down towards where the golf ball would be on the ground. By all means, at this point, if you wanted to go, right, I'm gonna do that, dress that golf ball, bring it up and start like that, you could, okay? But if you've got hard flooring and it moves all around, that's why I don't suggest putting it down. But if you can, do that. So we go point one, point two. Now come and have a look at those wrists. This is what I said to all my students. Love a look at my wrists there. Nice and flat, right wrist in this great position, club face matching my left hand, my lead hand at this point. My hand's in the middle of my chest as you move down the line. All we've got to do now is to complete our back swing is just turn a little more, okay? From here, I want you just to work it down and in front. So what we do is here, we let the arms drop, rotate, bring it into impact, feel the follow through. So can you see how every point that we wanna get in our golf swing, we're nailing in this drill. So what I recommend is do this for two minutes daily, okay? This for two minutes, the next bit for a minute. So we go one, two, turn, arms drop, rotate, finish it off. Two minutes daily you will bring in every element of your golf swing that you've been dreaming of without consequence. It's like shadow swinging. So for two minutes, work on that aspect. We're now on to the final point, which is that third point, speed. Now this is a brilliant point. It's all about speed. Now, one of the biggest reasons why nobody has speed in the golf swing is, I honestly believe we drag the club through, we don't swing the club head. Let me explain, look. So if I stand here, if I drag that club through, this is what we see for most people, isn't it? That chicken wing. Whereas if I swing the club through, it generates a lot more speed. Like if I was to pinch that golf club there and swing it, it would start to generate way more speed. If I drag, there's no speed. So this is what I recommend you should do for one minute daily. So what I love about this just takes one minute daily, plus the two minutes on the first aspect, that's why I put three minutes in the thumbnail. All right, T-peg in the ground if you can. If you can't, don't worry, don't need it really, but I like to put the T-peg in the ground, sticking up just like that. So in the ground there. Grab the golf club in your lead hand only. Now I mentioned about this dragging we're really gonna stop you dragging the golf club. So as you move to face arm, I want you to focus on this. You're gonna swing the club back to where your left arm is parallel to the ground. You're gonna focus on letting the arm drop. And as you're doing this, you should be go from being able to see two knuckles from player cam 
into one knuckle as you strike the tee peg into no knuckles. So there, I'm releasing the golf club and I'm letting the club head swing. So watch. So I'd go three, two, one, hit the tee peg. And just a tee peg gives you a focus point. I like it because we don't want to move too much through. We want to really focus on staying in posture and releasing that club, really working the wrist and the body together. We're not over, we're not standing up. We really get that full understanding of how actually the body stays quite, not stationary, but stays in its space as you rotate and we let the arms swing past and through. I mean, just look at the speed I'm creating here. This is exactly what I want you to do for one minute daily. So we go two, one knuckle, no knuckle, feel that speed, keeping stationary in that space. And I know you're gonna generate way more speed, but still have so much control. Follow what my students have done and done this three minutes daily. It's way better than practicing. And I honestly never thought I would say that. Thanks for watching.